Let's talk about the concept of session affinities as one of the pitfalls for uh, administrators, one of the things we really have to watch out for. So in a situation where we're working with session-based information, when we store session information in a memory, in a clustered kind of an environment, we end up with problems with our workload and our balancing processing. So what we're, what we're generating here when we're working with sessions, we talked about the session ID coming from the customer. We know that's going to be part of the HTTP message. The other thing that's going to be embedded in the message potentially is something called a clone ID. Now the clone ID identifies where the application previously left information. In this particular case, it left session information. So the clone ID is matched to a clone value that's stored in the plugin config XML file to identify a particular physical node or, a, or a, an actual JVM that we need to return to. So we know that the plugin config file basically is the folder for all of the application servers behind it. So if there is a particular application server, a particular virtual machine inside of a WebSphere cluster that we've been dealing with where we've left information, we've left session data, then the clone ID identifies that particular uh, JVM and we must return to it to actually gather up our information. So in a normal situation, we think about the clustering concept. We may have multiple physical machines. We may have multiple JVMs that we can potentially route to. And the way the plugin config file essentially works, it works as a load balancer. And what it does is it essentially creates this round robin scenario for balancing out the load of our messages across these different sets of boxes in a clustering world. What happens when we work with sessions, of course, is we've left information in memory on a particular JVM. So the only way to retrieve that is to go back to that particular box and ignore what the load balancer is basically telling us with this round robin approach on which box to go to. So we have to be careful when we're working with sessions in a clustering environment because we can, have, we can end up with this problem of session affinity which then basically uh, just destroys our load balancing plan uh, to alleviate the load of our transactions and messages across the entire cluster. So what we want to do is, is talk about how to alleviate this particular problem, how we can eliminate session affinity, but for working strictly with memory bound sessions and session management, this is the issue, These are the, this is the problem that we're going to end up with, this concept called session affinity.